they are using 12 volt 1 amp battery and step down transformer and 3 charging circuits and also using solar panel and hybrid generator so here we can see the hybrid generator hybrid power generator now we can see uh, here we can here, here we are using two voltage sensors one is for the solar another one is for the hybrid power generation and also using arduino uno track pcb ldr and lm2596 voltage uh, dc buck converter and using usb module to charge our phone and also using MOSFET board with a Wi-Fi module and LCD display. For the street light, we are using 12 volt uh, L uh, LEDs. So the main aim of this part is to that uh, it, ha it will send the data, power generated data to the IoT app. So let will see how it will be works. So first of all, we need to set our hotspot name. So we need to set our hotspot name as a project uh, name as a project and password should be 1 to 9. Then only this Wi-Fi module will be connected to our device. So first of all I will explain how this battery gets charging through sources. So here we can see the uh, charging circuits here. So each line have a each rectifier. So here we can see one rectifier is connected to the transformer. So this is the rectifier, this is the input side. So input is connected to the transformer and output is connected to the battery. And on the other side, here we can see another rectifier. It is connected by the solar and uh, and the output is connected to the battery at the same time connected to the sen uh, voltage sensor. And here we can see last side of the rectifier. So it is connected by the uh, hybrid power from the input and the output is connected to the voltage sensor. At the same time it is connected to the battery. So this battery will be charged through solar panel and wind, wind energy and electrical source. We can charge this battery using electrical source by using this power cable. It takes 230 volts of power supply. So that 230 volts of power supply will be given to the transformer primary side. So it will step down up to 12 volts, 1 amp. Here we can see the ratings of the transformer. So it will step down up to 12, volt, uh, 12 volts, 1 amp. That 12 volts, 1 amp AC will be given to the rectifier. We know rectifier converts AC to DC. So it will convert up to 12 volts of DC. That 12 volts of DC will be given to the battery only. We will not give it to the voltage sensor. So we can charge this battery using this electrical wire. So we can see the light indication of this one. So which means battery get charging through this transformer. And here we can see uh, second one. Second one is a hybrid power generator. So it is connected uh, here from the input. So generally hybrid power generation output have a two pins. One is connected to the rectifier. Another one is connected to the voltage sensor. So if you rotate this one. So we can see light indication of the second one. Done. So here we can see light mm. generation. Okay. So it will be rotated based on the air. So here you can see it is connected to the rectifier. So one dot will be raising our mind that. So this uh, hybrid generator will generate a DC power and solar will be generated DC power. But again we are connected to the rectifier. General rectifier converts AC to DC. But we are uh, connected to the rectifier. So the, in here rectifier acts as a polarity character and the, at the same time it will be protected from the reverse voltage. If the uh, battery voltage become more than uh, high voltage, uh, the, it will become a high potential. Then it will give a reverse current to the hybrid generator and solar power, solar panel. So it may damage due to reverse voltage. So in order to protect these two uh, sources, we are using the rectifier. So general rectifier have a diodes that converts. Yeah, it will be allow only forward voltage. It doesn't allow in, uh, any reverse voltage. That's why we are using rectifiers for this both sources.
we are providing the power supply for this Arduino using this 12 volts battery. So here we can see LM2596 which uh, it is a power converter. So it will convert uh, high DC to low DC. We are taking the input as a 12 volt. The 12 volt will be stepped down up to 5 volts. That 5 volts will be given to the track PCB. So the main aim of the track PCB is to divide equal power to the all components like Arduino, you know, ESP, uh, r 5 module, LCD display, LDR, like this. So we are and also we are giving for 5 volts power supply to the USB module. So in this system, this voltage sensors will be uh, measure the voltage of the power generation and also this LDR is used for the light intensity. If the light intensity is less, then uh, this uh, light will be glow. So this street light will be go glow automatically. And also uh, LCD is used for the displaying the values and uh, Wi-Fi model is used for the sending the data to the uh, internet and MOSFET is used for the light on and off based on the LDR signal. So let will see working. So we need to on this power supply using this switch. If we on the power supply, it will display welcome to the project. So here we can see HV voltage is a solar voltage, uh, WV voltage is a wind voltage and the LDR you can see its intensity and uh, light uh, it, uh, it means straight light. So it is in off position. If I close this one. So we can see the street light on automatically. So if I remove my finger from the LDR, it will be off automatically. In this way, LDR will be works. So this street light will be on in night times because uh, light intensity in night time is very low. That's why this uh, street light will be get switched on automatically. So we have to install SSH app. So here we can see juice SSH app. We need to go this one. And also we need to install network analyzer. It is also available in Play Store. We need to go this one. So first of all we need to see this Wi-Fi model is connected to our device or not. So here, here we can see ESP CA137E is connected to our hotspot. We need to identify the IP address of the network. So, so uh, we need to identify the IP address. We need to go for the network analyzer. So the interface of this uh, network app is uh, like this. We need to go for the LAN scan. LAN scan means local area network. So we need to have the Wi-Fi when we scan this one. So scan. So here we can see express. So we need to go this one. We need to copy this address. Copy. And we need to go for the juice SSH chat. So here we can see manage connections. So we need to go for that one. And we can see add connection. And here we can see it is asking type, type is the telnet and address is copy address have to paste here and our port is 8080. So here we can see IP address we need to go this one. So here we can see it is giving the LDR intensity and solar voltage and also wind voltage. So, so solar panel generating a small amount of voltage due to low sunlight if we place this one in a sunlight it will be, uh, generate more voltage that more voltage will be seen in this app in this way this point will be works thanks for the watching